teach their own. But if you're thinking about starting a podcast, making a new Instagram, running ads on five different platforms, and starting a blog, and then traveling around while speaking on stage, and then trying to run a business and build a good product, I think it's incredibly foolish, and I don't think it's going to work, and it was one of the biggest mistakes I ever made in my career, and I really think you should stop. You should just stop all of it, and here's why. So, in the past in these videos, even up to recently, I'll just call people that I disagree with fucking stupid. I don't think, I don't think that's their best way to go about doing this. So I want to be a bit more constructive here because I see really smart people doing this and it's such a huge mistake. And my goal on this channel is to help you to avoid the mistakes that I made in my entrepreneurship career. Because I've made a lot of stupid mistakes, a lot of big colossal mistakes that slowed me down for nearly a decade. And my logic here is if you simply just avoid these things, you have like nine tenths of the equation to do better than I do and hit success faster. So that's what I'm gonna try and do here. And that being said, I see a lot of people going deeper into this mistake. And it drives me nuts because I see a lot of smart people doing this. So it's gonna take me about five minutes to make a point here. And it, by all means, if you don't have five minutes to listen to this, go click the cat video, but you will make this mistake. I see everybody doing it and it's gonna slow you down forever because it slowed me down for nearly a decade. So what is this mistake? It's doing too much shit. Instagram isn't bad. Podcasting isn't bad. Doing lots of shit is incredibly bad. There is so much evidence that doing just a little bit of shit very, very well gets exceptional results. And there's so much evidence that doing tons of shit yields tons of shit. That, that's all it generates. And one video I would suggest that you check out after this video is Sam Evans in the weeds or removing weeds. He's cutting stuff out of plants. It's, it's, it's cool. But basically, you should go check out that video because it builds on top of this. But I kind of have a different message here because what I see is so much confusion in this because people think this is necessary. And I want to explain to you that it's not necessary and you can just stop it. So I was talking to an entrepreneur last night and he was desperately confused on why I've stopped posting on Instagram. And I see all the time people telling me to start a podcast and I should make more YouTube videos and I should be advertising more on Facebook and I should be advertising on Snapchat. And it's just, it's just ass backwards because my business is making more money than ever. And I've posted like seven YouTube videos and I've posted a total of five times on Instagram this year, two of the pictures being a picture of my cat and dog. And I think I put up probably two to three stories yet. My business is doing better than ever. How is this? How is this possible? This, this goes against what everybody's doing. And if you look at some of the most successful entrepreneurs and the most successful businesses, they all operate in the same way. There's far more of them that operate like this than there are that operate counter to what I'm about to talk about. And I'm just going to break down why it's just, it's just simple math almost. And I just want to stress, if you look at Kylie Jenner, where's our traffic from Instagram, she does, that's, that's what she does. If you look at Joe Rogan in this podcast, you don't see Joe Rogan going and running Facebook ads. You don't see Joe Rogan like traveling around speaking on stage. You see Joe Rogan doing his damn podcast. It's just, just what he does. That's all he does. And then they post the videos to YouTube. If you go look at Salesforce, or any SaaS company, they usually grow through just one traffic source. They have a bunch of other traffic sources, but 80% of everything comes from one traffic source to one product, and that's it. And then you see every entrepreneur on planet Earth right now trying to start a podcast, make an Instagram, run a YouTube channel, start a blog, speech on stage, go write a book. And it's, the, it's just so goofy. So let me explain why. So the reason why this is so goofy I'm going to explain this in a few different Alex metaphors on the whiteboard of truth and justice, which I know you guys love. I'm eventually going to get an easel where I can actually like draw this stuff out. But look, you have a hundred points of energy every single week. Let's, let's talk about that. And there's a few things you must understand. So in entrepreneurship, there's this barrier. All right. So this is the barrier of awesome. And the way you succeed, is you have to beat people in some area. You have, you have to beat other people in some area. You have to do really well and you have to be really good at one thing. And the way you get really good at one thing is you have to go deep. And so let's imagine this barrier right here. It takes 50 points of effort to break through this barrier. These 100 points can be invested anywhere. And one of my greatest strengths 
And the greatest strengths I see of every other successful business is because, for example, I'm really, really, really good at one traffic source. I'm better than anybody else at it because I've invested 90 points every single week just in that traffic source. So what happens is like the barrier of awesome right here, I've blown past it. And so when it comes to my competitors and stuff like that, they might beat me in a lot of different areas, but they don't beat me right here. They don't beat me right here. They don't even come close. And because of that, I can drill down right here and everybody else is so busy splitting their 100 points out that they can't drill down to the level that I'm at. They'll be right here. Or a lot of them are just like up here somewhere. They're not even drilling past the 50 points where you're like really successful at something. And what you need to understand is that's gonna be everything in your business. Your product and how well you get customers to that product is going to be where your points are invested. So then when I see every entrepreneur trying to do, and this is smart entrepreneurs who are doing this, and it's so goofy because you just can't physically do this, is what you need to understand in business is the deeper you go, that's when you start getting the really dramatic results. So let's say this is the 30 point barrier. This is the 50 point barrier where good results start coming in and you have the 70 point barrier and then like the 100 point barrier where you're just all in. And this isn't gonna add up completely mathematically, but just take away the general point I'm trying to make right here. The deeper you go, the crazier results you're gonna get. And what, you're, what I see people doing is they're going, all right, so I'm gonna make a blog, I'm gonna make a podcast, I'm gonna make an Instagram, I'm going to write a book, I'm gonna run a YouTube channel, and then I'm gonna have three different products, and then I'm also gonna go speak on stage. And so what happens, if you just divide your points among this, you, you're, all, you're a human being, okay? You're a human being, you, you're gonna max out 100 points. This is if you're fully optimized. What's gonna happen is you just don't have the points to go deep enough in anything. And so what happens is a few things. The stuff you put out is not of high quality enough. It doesn't have enough effort behind it. It doesn't have enough focus on it to really be special. So let's imagine right here, you're doing all these things and then you're, you only have 15 points left to invest in your product. Your product's not going to be special. And because of that, you're gonna have problems and your business is not gonna grow because your product sucks. Or if you're going out there and you're writing a book, you're running a YouTube channel, you're running an Instagram, and then you're doing a podcast all the time, what's gonna happen is all of those are going to suck because you just, you can't do that. You can't go and have great everything. You're, you're, you're focused on quantity and what people want to digest is quality. And so if you're doing those four things and then you're trying to run ads on AdWords and Facebook at the same time, your ads are going to suck. They're not gonna go to the deep level enough to get really good results. And then your blog's not gonna be good. Your podcast is not gonna be good. Your YouTube, nothing's gonna be special because in order for something to be special, it has to be really damn good or it has to be better than other people's shit. In order for your podcast to take off, it has to be significantly better than every other podcast out there. But here's the thing. If you're only putting 15 points into your podcast and you're going against an entrepreneur who is solely podcast focused, his number one, his only traffic source he focuses on is podcast. And he's like 60 points invested in that thing. You're not going to, you're not going to capture that audience. You're not going to make a dent there. You're just going to be another average folk farting around. And so your results are not going to be excessive. They're not gonna be great because you're investing 15 points on a battlefield where you're going against a guy who's 70 points in. And the deeper you get in the business, you're gonna start hitting these 100 pointers. You're gonna, if you're running a SaaS company and you're trying to run a podcast and a blog and advertise on six different platforms all at once, you're going to run into a SaaS company owner, which is a software company owner, who just only focuses on a SaaS and only focuses on one direct response high ticket lead generation method to get people into a SaaS company. And he's just gonna dominate you because that's all he does. And because he's only doing three things, he's going to be so damn good at those things. And you might say, oh, okay, well, I see what my competitor's doing. He's going and he's using this really high ticket lead generation system. But then you're gonna go and put 10 points into it, but the guy has 60 points in it. And so it's just not gonna work. Your shit's gonna suck and your product's gonna suck too and not be good as his because he's putting all those points into his product. You gotta understand this, because this is what everybody's doing. And so what happens when you split yourself 10 different ways is you end up producing nothing but garbage. And garbage doesn't go deep. You need to go deep. And so what I do, and, and what you need to understand is, is there's no reason to go broad with your efforts. There just isn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Because what I see all the time is like people do this. They're gonna go start an Instagram, they're gonna start a YouTube channel, they're gonna run ads on AdWords, they're gonna run ads on Facebook. All right, great, but here's the thing. Each one of these traffic sources, if you solely focus in on them, it's capable of making you $5 million a month. And nobody watching this, including myself, is making $5 million a month. So the question is, 
why are you trying to invest if if you need to go to let's say 70 points in to kill it if you if you go 70 points in on one of these things you're going to be the best at it. you're going to be better than anybody else at you can just take that market because nobody else is 70 points invested and if you put those 70 points in that's when you start hitting that million a month okay that's when you start hitting that one two million a month that's when you can really start going crazy or those are excessive numbers that i think in and i'm not being like this is the world I live in kind of shit. That's just, those are the numbers that I think in. What you need to focus on, if you're looking to hit that 5,000, 10,000 a month quickly, you want to get results as fast as possible. You don't need to be on 10 different traffic sources. You don't need to be on 10 different social media platforms. You don't even need to be on social media altogether if it's not your key traffic source. Because to get results as fast as possible, all you really need to do is be way good, way good. You need to be really good and go really deep into one or two things. And then you rock it. You absolutely rock it because you're just not doing anything else. And so while everybody else is focusing on five different things, your advantage is you're just in one thing. And so you dominate this one sector of Facebook. You dominate this one sector of YouTube. And so nobody can compete because they're putting 15 points in 10 different things. They just can't. They don't have the fucking time or focus to do it. And so you win. And that's how you get results really fast. So I'm not saying don't use Instagram. I'm saying if Instagram is your best traffic source, Cut everything else out. Go all in there and get Instagram to 5 million a month. Just that's it. And what's going to happen when you go all in? What, let's think about this. You're going to be the best at networking with other influencers. You're going to be the best at brokering deals and sponsorships between them. You're going to be the best knowing, at knowing the algorithm. You're going to be the best at being able to post pictures that get the most likes. You're going to be the best at stories. You're going to be the best at everything on Instagram. Because you just have so much time invested in there. And because of that, you go deep. And so at about this point where you're 70 points invested, everybody else kind of starts to fall off because they don't have that time. They just don't. Even the guy that's trying to run a YouTube channel and Instagram and then advertise on four different places, they're not going to do it. But then here's the biggest kicker, and this is, this is where everybody gets bamboozled to the moon. You have to remember that you've got to put points into your, your product. You have to put points into your product. And so what everybody's doing is they're doing all this stuff right here. Like, it drives me insane. I saw a guy who was so talented the other day. they like, hey, starting the podcast. Your product right now isn't the best in the market. Your product isn't... Like, I don't see people lining up down the street leaving awesome reviews about your product, dude. Why on earth would you take 20 points out of your effort to make a new fucking podcast... When you could put that 20 points into your product and delight the people already coming inside and then those people will tell their friends and you'll make more money and then those people will spend more money with you and then they'll buy more of your products. And so this is what I see so many people doing when it comes to social media is they're so focused on creating... Let's say they're so focused on investing energy on six different things when these things right here aren't driving incredible results for them. These are not the 80%. You're going to see so many entrepreneurs where 80% of their revenue comes from one traffic source. And so they'd be way better off just quadrupling down. I'm not even using words today. Okay. It's way too early. I'm just like making up words as I talk while trying to sound smart. If it's the first time watching the channel, it's just like this guy sits in his chair and uses words like badoopling <laughs> while trying to tell me how to run my business. Anyways, so... You're gonna see the best place, the best thing this entrepreneur could do is just triple down, super double down on his 80% thing, get rid of all these things and invest in the product. Because really all that matters is how you get people there and then how those people use your product. What it, it blows my mind, I see so many education entrepreneurs, all right? So many gurus out there. And I'm not talking smack, I'm just saying they're doing all these things right here, and because of that. They have huge refund rates on their products and they're like they have huge problems getting processors and then they have huge problems getting people to complete their payment plans on procs and then i see SaaS entrepreneurs out there are people launching any type of business out there and they have horrible churn you know and they have they their business isn't growing super fast and they're doing three different businesses and all of them are just kind of floating around and so they're stuck at this point and they're wondering what is going on here it's because you're investing so much effort into things that are not going to yield results because you're only putting 15, 20 points into them. And that's not enough points to yield results. So you're way better taking and cutting all those arms off your body, even though, let's imagine right here. So let's imagine we got, you're on Snapchat, you're on Instagram, and you're on YouTube, and then you're running Facebook ads, and then you're running 
you're, you're doing uh, YouTube ads, and then you're also doing, let's say, a podcast. So what you're going to see with so many entrepreneurs, let's say this, this totals 100K a month in income. But one thing I want to stress is the deeper you go down, the deeper you go on points, the more money you make. So if you're 70 points down to something, you're going to make so much more money, a thousand times more money than if you're five points invested in something. It's, it's, not, it's not proportional. It has a exponential increase. So the better you get at something, the better the results are substantially. And so what's happening right here is the reason why people have trouble here is, all right, so Snapchat right here generated 10K last month. And then Instagram right here generated 10K last month. And then YouTube generated 10K last month. And then Facebook generated 50K. And then YouTube ads generated 10K. And then the podcast generated 10K. And so in their minds right here, they're winning. But this is, lu this is ludicrous right here. This is absolutely insane because there's zero points left for product which is a problem most people have. Like they spent, they spent 200 hours working on all these things last month and then they put like an hour into their product. People end up like the product is the most important part. I want to stress as well. Like you're, you're really, your whole entire focus should be like, you should have at least 50 points invested in your product at all times. I'd say probably 60 or 70. In fact, if you just go in 100, you're going to have a better product than everybody else, and eventually it's going to work. There's so many products out there where there's 100 points in the product, and they don't advertise, and it works out. Do you see how that works? Like, if your product is the best thing to attract people, and it's new, just go 100 points into it. I don't think Uber, like, I don't think they started buying ads at all for a long time. Anyways, so most entrepreneurs see this as winning. They're like, ah, diverse income. That's, that's so crazy. If you just, if you just cut off all the tentacles and just worked out one arm, like being an entrepreneur is not about being well balanced. We're not eating a healthy breakfast and we're not trying to balance out our nutrition right here. That's not how it works. We're not trying to build a healthy body. We are trying to get as much leverage on one button as possible and smash that button over and over again. That is all entrepreneurship is. You, you locate the number one Highest return action you can do, and you do it over and over and over again until it stops giving you that return. And then you start differentiating. And so this person right here did 50K off Facebook when there's potential to be doing 5 million a month on Facebook. They don't need to have these things. They, they hit 100K a month, they could just X these out, get Facebook to 100K a month, probably in the same month, because literally their entire focus has just been freed up. Half of their hard drive is now available to focus on this thing that's getting them the most results. And so then they could go to 100K a month and they go, ah, okay, so because I'm, I just spent eight hours of my day purely focused on Facebook instead of one hour of my day, I'm going to get 8x the results and then boom, they're at 800K a month. Now those are crazy numbers and jumping around and I, I know it's a little bit of hyperbole right there, but that's the point I'm trying to make. I'm not saying don't do a podcast. I'm not saying don't do Instagram. I'm not saying don't do a YouTube channel. I'm saying you've got to understand where you're going to get the biggest results and then you mash that button and you mash and you mash it and mash it until it stops giving you those results. And if a button, I need to ask you this, if a button that you're mashing is capable of getting you to a million dollars a month, why do you need to mash other buttons? What is the point of mashing 10 other buttons? What is the point of doing 10 other things? What's the point of writing a book? If you could just make one product and one ad source and then grow that the $10 million a year, what is the point of doing anything else? There isn't a point. It doesn't make any logical sense. And the last thing I want to point out to you right here is what happens when you do this is you create your, you create what I like to call social slavery. And this is why I feel bad for people to do this and are lost in this because I've done this. It is, it is so weird. You're, you're going out there and I never started a podcast. Thank God. But you start a podcast, you start an Instagram, you start a YouTube channel. And what's, what's happening is you're also running ads and then you're working on your product and you're trying to compete with so many other people who have 70 points in invested all these things. And so what happens is you're having to work crazy hours to make subpar everything. And so like your Instagram's okay, but it's not good enough to break through. Your YouTube's okay, but it's not good enough to break through. Your ads are okay, but it's not good enough to break through. And nothing is more frustrating than being okay, but not good enough to break through. Nothing is going to keep you where you're at than being okay at everything. There's, there's nothing that's going to be more frustrating and nothing going to keep you at your level longer than anything else out there. And so... What I, what I see happening is people literally become slaves. They have to keep, you have to keep making more content. You have to keep making more content. You have to keep making more ads. And because all your plates keep crashing, there's never a point where you're able to breathe and you hit burnout. And so then your stuff starts sucking even more. 
that's where it goes. So what people try and do is you only have 100 points, but they try and get to like 130 points, and you can't do that. It doesn't work like that. What happens is that 130 points just comes out of the quality, and so you get back down to 100 points, but then you just do that. And so this is bonkers to me because you see people making a YouTube video every day, posting on Instagram every single day, posting, ma making new ads every single day, having to constantly go and update their product every single day while trying to run their business and help their customers. And what happens is all those things suffer, and so then you're overworking yourself, you're suffering, and you're not happy, and like, the goal of business, either people have, people have two goals. It's to work as little as possible, making as much as possible. That's not working. Or it's to maximize the amount of money you're making. And this isn't maximizing the money either. You're just stuck in this hell of social media slavery. And the craziest part about this is like, you don't get good returns from this time. You don't get good returns. And so it's just this wheel that keeps going and going and going. And then suddenly you're doing a podcast at noon every day. And then suddenly you're having to post on Instagram and go take fucking pictures of yourself next to whatever God knows you're doing and put up like this, this persona. And then you have to go make a YouTube video, which is hard. You got to edit it and do all this kind of stuff. And then you got to go check your Facebook groups and you got to go make sure your ads aren't burning down. You got to go check your YouTube ads. And across all those time, you're having to not go deep in any of those things. So all those things don't really get to the point they need to actually work well, and you just keep cycling through it and cycling through it and cycling through it and shoveling out shit and shoveling out shit. And then what happens is your customers say, this guy isn't as good as so-and-so who's invested 70 points into his product and they go, go over there. And so you just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. That's why I call it social media slavery or whatever it's doing, because you're literally working for the peanuts that you could be making. You could be making the whole egg casserole, I don't know, and you're just making the peanuts for your time. And you also are working too much, and you don't get to enjoy free time, and you don't ever get to relax. And your company b falls apart like a nuclear bomb the second you take a week off. And I'm gonna tell you this, just a word to the wise, it's very difficult to start cutting these things off once you start them, you know? Um, in the past six months, I had to cut off other companies, had to cut off social media, things had to cut off a lot of things that I'm doing and I'm still trying to cut off like my goal right now is to keep cutting things off and cutting things off and cutting things off without uh, putting too big of a hole in the boat but that's what you got to do so just do that and keep your life simple and then get one simple streamlined F1 car and drive as fast as you can in one direction and then no one's gonna catch you and let me explain that metaphor a little bit more if everybody else is going out there and like here's the destination the fastest way to this destination is to go in as straight a line as possible. You don't want to adjust a whole lot. And everybody else is like, ah, nah, Instagram, blah, blah, make a YouTube video, get a picture with Grant Cardone, and do this, and then be on the news, and then blog. And like this person right here gets here a decade later than this guy who got there in a year. So just do that. And if you sort of relate to this and you're making over $20,000 a month, you should check out my Black Card Mastermind below. We can help you figure that out. That being said, if you're not making $240,000 a year, completely ignore this. This is not for you. Taking this video, and that's it. Take it easy.